Hello, Scorpio. This is your love reading for November. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell. Make sure to check out your sun, moon, and rising signs. There may be a message that resonates more. Okay, let's get into it, Scorpio. Okay, we have inspiration and courage. Okay, inspiration and courage. And we have Tears of joy and sadness. Okay, Scorpio. At the bottom of the deck, we have meditation for creativity. Wow, interesting so far. Okay, we have the Grand Symphony. And we have a willing release. Actually, a lot of the other signs got this card as well. So I believe that we're going through a lot of change and transformation at the moment. Um, there's a lot of things that the collective uh, will be releasing. Um, that no longer serves them at the moment. So that is the willing release. We also have at the bottom of the deck, smoke and mirrors. And that's actually been coming out a few times as well. I feel like maybe someone in your life maybe isn't as honest as they could be. We have pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. And we have trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. Yes, you should always use your intuition. Your intuition is most always the correct way to go. You also have the death card. So there, there's definitely change and transformation in your future. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. All right, beautiful energy so far, Scorpio. Beautiful energy so far. Okay, let's get into some tarot. What do the cards have to say for Scorpio, for November and love? Oh, oh, okay. Wow. We have the devil, the two of wands. We have the justice card. We have the Queen of Wands, and we have the King of Pentacles. We have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Star card. And we have the Seven of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. 
So I feel like at this time you should really trust your intuition. You should trust where it leads you. There may be secrets that are unfolding. Um, but yeah, trust your intuition on the situation. I see a lot is going on for you, Scorpio. In the first row, we have the devil and the two of wands. So I'm feeling like you're being led in two different directions. I feel like something is kind of controlling the way you're thinking at the moment. I feel like I feel like if this is an obsession or a toxic situation, I feel like this is you holding yourself back due to some kind of illusion that is not possible at all. But I feel like you have two different directions to go in. You have two different paths. Very interesting, Scorpio. Very interesting. Now, you have the Justice card and the Queen of Wands. So, I feel like... If something wasn't balanced in the path in the past, you're now feeling that the truth is coming out. The truth is I wanna say the truth has set you free. I want I wanna say that the scales, the scales are now balanced. And this could be your energy, the Queen of Wands. This could be you, Scorpio. Um very attractive, very assertive, very passionate. This may be the reason for the devil. Are you into some kind of situation to where you're actually using somebody or they're using you? They're kind of obsessing over you? Very interesting, Scorpio. I feel like this king, king of pentacles and this three of pentacles, I feel like this is who you are searching for. You're searching for someone who's going to give you stability, who's going to give you wealth, who's going to give you everything that you desire. Um, but I feel like right now you're kind of settling for less. I feel like you're settling for whoever will accept you. I'm not sure why I'm getting that feeling. I'm, You know, if I'm wrong, I'm sorry, Scorpio. I'm just telling you what I'm intuitively feeling at the moment. And that's like a lust situation. That's just, you're using them for sex or they're using you for sex. That That's what I'm feeling. So that's what I'm telling you. With this Three of Pentacles, I'm feeling like putting the Three of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups because for some reason, I feel like you're caught in an illusion between two different parties. That's the Three of Pentacles. You, this party, and this party. I feel like you're caught between two. I feel like you're caught between two. And you're 
either you're not willing to make a choice or you're in love with both of them. You're in love with both of them, Scorpio. Wow. That's why the star is here. You want to set one of them free, but you're not willing to make a choice at the moment. You're afraid if you make a choice, the secret's going to come out. And it's going to put you in the spotlight. It's going to make people think a certain way about you. And I feel like that's not where you want to be at the moment. You don't want to be in the spotlight. Very interesting, Scorpio. Very interesting. I'm not sure if this is going to resonate with everyone, but this message is for someone. With the devil, we have the three of swords. So yeah, I feel like this has led to a lot of heartbreak. Um, but you also have the Knight of Cups. So I feel like between one of them, there is genuine love. There is genuine love there. And I feel like with this person, you need to make a choice. You can't keep holding on to both of them. This is either you or your person. Either you or your person has two people. Wow. Okay. Now with the justice, we have the strength card. So, yeah, I'm feeling like you should respect yourself enough to make a decision on this. With the Queen of Wands, we have the Queen of Wands. So, yeah, I, I feel like this energy is definitely you. You're very attractive. You're very charismatic. You are very confident. And I feel like this has drawn two people into your situation. And maybe they're both in love with you or you're in love with both of them. But, wow. With the King of Pentacles, we have the Two of Pentacles. So, yeah, I think you need to find balance in this situation. You need to make a choice. I feel like... I want to say you're guarded by making a choice, but I feel like you know it's the right thing to do. I, I don't feel like this is something that you want to have endure for too much longer. With the Three of Pentacles, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like, yeah, I feel like in the near future, either you're walking away from one of them or they're walking away from you. Um, and honestly, this could be one of them walking away or this could be both of them walking away. With the star card, you have the two of swords. So yeah, there's that choice. There's that choice that needs to be made. And it's actually a very hard choice because I think you have feelings for both of them. Um, but yeah, a choice needs to be made in this situation. With the seven of cups, you have the ten of wands and the five of wands. So yeah, I, I feel like you know, they're going to find out about each other. If they don't already know about each other, they're going to find out about each other. And this is going to lead to a lot of drama, conflict. They feel like they're in competition. And um, I see one of them or both of them walking away. Yeah. I feel you or someone you're dealing with feels like they're left out in the cold.
Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, I, I think you need to, and the moon on the bottom. Okay. I think it's going to be a hard, a very hard decision to make. Um, but you're just living in an illusion by thinking that one person isn't going to find out about the other. Or um, if this is you as a third party, you know, the secret's out. The secret's out. So it leaves you to plant your seeds elsewhere and kind of rebuild what's left. Now, if one of these situations, after they find out about each other, if one of these situations endures and you finally make a choice, I think it's going to be a lot of hard work. It's going to be a lot of hard work to rebuild anything. Wow, Scorpio. This is very intense. Yeah, you have a time for healing. Balsamic moon. We have surrender to the divine, full moon. And we have prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. So I, I think after you make your decision, I think there is happiness later on. Um, but yeah, at the bottom of the deck, emotions are running high. So that is the super moon energy. So yeah, and I think, yeah, good luck, Scorpio. This is just, let me get one more card for clarification. This is just intense. How will this end for Scorpio? What advice do you have? Okay, we have the Ace of Pentacles in the world. Yeah, so I think you have to end it with one of them. You have to end the cycle with someone so that there will be a new beginning. That is your advice, Scorpio. Good luck to you. And if this message resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any readings. And make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity in the situation. And, wow, love and light, Scorpio, many blessings to you.